Hello again. Um, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to set up the uh, Box2D world and how to add uh, a Box2D body to your character so that he can have um, gravity applied to him and all these kind of physics things. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a contact listener so that your um, character knows uh, when it is contacting with something else in the world. So, um, the first thing you're going to need is the contact listener class. Let's go ahead and add that. Make sure I'm pointing to my source. Go to contact listener. Add that. We're going to include Box2D. Now, that's all we really need. This is only going to be communicating with um, the world. So it doesn't need oxygen to be brought in. So I'm going to go ahead and name this class. Contact list. Listener. Oop. There you go. And public. And it, it will, this will inherit from uh, B2 contact listener from Box2D. So inside of here, let's go ahead and create our public and private. In here, we're going to uh, create two functions. I'm going to create a void begin contact. And it will have one parameter. It will be B2 contact. And I'm going to have a end contact. And it will have the same parameter as the other one, which is contact. That's pretty much all we need in this class right now. So let's go ahead and create the CPP. So go ahead and say contact listener. Let's bring in our H file. Create the constructor. Oh, right. That's right. Let's go ahead and add the constructor and deconstructor. Oops. There you go. Now we can go back in here and create it. We're not going to put anything in here, but it's better to have it. Tag listener. And there you go. So now we're going to move to the important functions that we're actually going to be using. So begin, whoops, contact listener. Nah. Nope, not right. You know what? Can't write today. So go ahead and call the begin contact as a B2 contact as a parameter. I'm going to call this contact. So what's going to be inside the begin contact and the end contact are pretty much the same thing. So we, we once we create it once, we pretty much copy and paste it over to the other one. 
So what you're going to need inside of this uh, begin contact uh, method is um, a pointer to that contact. So you're going to say void. And I'm going to call it body data. And I'm going to use that contact parameter. And I'm going to get the fixture A. And I'm going to get, um, so get in fixture A. I'm going to get the body. And I am going to get the user data of that body. So now we need an if statement for the body data, making sure that there's something in there. And we are going to statically cast this, um, this variable. So we're going to say static cast. And we are going to bring in our um, character class in here. We have we need to bring in the H file in the um, in the H file of the contact listener. But we can go ahead and just get this part out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and put the body the data variable. And we're going to point to, um, we haven't created this fun this method yet, but we're, we're going to in the character class. So I'm going to, I'm going to call that method start contact. So let's go in here first. Let's go ahead and, uh, include the character header. There you go. This error will appear. Don't worry about it. We're going to add this method in a little bit once we're done with these two uh, functions. So that should be it for the begin contact. So now we're going to do void contact listener end contact it has the same parameter ah hate it when it does that all right contact and we're going to go ahead and grab this little portion of code here because it is the exact same thing except when we call the method of this class of the character class. We want it to say end contact. Go ahead and save that. Save everything right now. And now we're gonna go ahead and add these two uh, methods to our character class. So it'll be a void start contact. And another one, void and contact. So now let's go to CPP here real quick. Void character start contact. Now, when it makes contact, I want it to let me know. That it is contacting. So I'm gonna go ahead into the log. I'm gonna message ln, and I'm gonna say uh, made contact, and I'm gonna create the end contact method. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to message ln. 
and I'm gonna say ended contact. Now I got these two um, methods in my class. So when I go over here, the errors are gone because now the not now there's methods that exists for that. So we still need to do one more thing. We need to go into our world over here and we need to add it. We need the world to know that there is a contact listener for it to send uh, that data to our class in order for us to, uh, to know that there, there has been contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's go to the H to header file of the world. Let's go ahead and include our contact listener. And I'm gonna create here a variable. I'm gonna say contact listener. And I'm gonna call it contact listener. Or maybe just, yeah, contact L. There you go, something shorter. Now, let's go ahead in here. And we're gonna say contact L, we need to create it. So new, oops, new contact listener. And now we're gonna we're gonna use our um, world variable, and we're gonna call the function set contact listener. And I'm gonna pass it contact L. Now, since this class right here, if you notice, we don't have a, a um, an intrusive pointer like our other class over here to save uh, to make it a safe pointer meaning it'll delete automatically once uh, you close the game or it's out of the stack or whatever so since we don't have that in our contact listener class we, we have to use the deconstructor of our world and we need to say delete the contact L because if you don't it will allocate memory and that's not good so now we got that handled now we can go ahead and test this to make sure that it you know actually works it actually makes contact and it builds Go ahead and let it build. And hopefully it will build. And there you go. If you notice, we got our little uh, made contact right there in our output. So if I press W here, which I made in the character class, it'll make me jump you'll see that we also have the ended contact. And it says again, made contact because it made contact again. So if you take a look at our boxes here, we can see, and there you go. It's very simple. It's not too hard to implement. Now you can customize this contact listener um, method inside of your character to do whatever it is that you want to do. You can have him, uh, when he makes contact, you can have him animate that he's hurt or something. And uh, you can communicate with other classes for points, stuff like that. And in the next tutorial, I will be um, showing you how to add extensions to an Android build of Oxygen uh, framework. So stay tuned for that.